Let's do a legs up the wall series with my lovely garden fence here. You could do this at home with a wall. And notice I started with my bottom close to the wall. It's a little hard to scoot your bottom up to the wall here. You're getting your bottom as close to the wall as possible. Just letting the breath be nice and even. And starting by crossing one of the ankles over the other. We're taking about five breaths, minimum of five breaths here, in and out through the nose. Moving to a partial reclining tree pose. Foot is about mid shin. You know that the sacral, the low part of the spine is even here. Moving to the foot just above the knee. Usually you wouldn't put your foot on your knee for tree pose, but we're not weight bearing here. So wherever your foot goes to is fine. You can do this for a longer period of time. Or just using the five breath, crossing the ankle. Restful, good for recovering, recovering from surgery, recovering from chemo, good for high blood pressure. This is a restorative yoga practice. Foot is halfway between the knee and the ankle. Now a full tree pose. If your foot's on your knee, that's fine. We're not weight bearing here. Sometimes a little easier than doing a full bound angle. Just doing one side and then the other. Cultivating the breath, inhaling and exhaling. If you want to, bringing yourself into bound angle, bringing the soles of the feet together. Knees are away from one another. A modification on this would be Lifting the bottom slightly and placing a block or a blanket underneath the tailbone. Breathing. Restoring. Drawing the knees towards one another. Pressing them into the wall. Ever so slightly. Noticing the restful nature of this short practice. That can be surprisingly calming, rejuvenating restoring. Moving yourself back slightly so you have enough room to do a modified laying spinal twist. Noticing where your head is comfortable. Perhaps it's in the same direction as your legs. Perhaps in the opposite direction. Mm. 
switching sides for your twist. Allowing the neck to feel comfortable and relaxed. Slowly bringing the knees back to the center. Upanasana or knees to chest. Hands are on the knees. Slowly on the exhale, drawing the knees in, exhaling them out. Exhale in, inhale out. Exhale in, inhale out. Upanasana or knees to chest pose. Notice the hips, allowing one leg to draw towards the sky, perhaps some movement rotation in the ankle. If it's comfortable, you can put your fingers interlaced behind your leg and then drawing that knee into the chest, either with the hands interlaced around the shin or right behind the leg, whichever feels more comfortable. And continuing a flowing in and out through the nose. Moving to the other side, raising the other leg to the sky, rotation of the ankle. Hands interlaced behind the leg if that is comfortable. And then softly drawing the knee, the opposite knee towards the chest. Hands can be on the shins or behind the thighs. Just gently drawing the knee towards the chest. Finding the breath here. Back to Apanasana, or knees to chest, exhale, inhale. Hands are on the knees, inhale, exhale. Noticing how the spine feels, the hips. Bringing one leg, the opposite foot onto the opposite knee. In the shape of a four. You can even place that, if it's the right foot on the left knee, you can slowly place that right hand, gently pushing that knee away from your body, unless that's too much sensation. And switching to the other side. If you have your left foot on your right knee, then using your left hand to gently press that left knee away from your body. breathing, taking in the loveliness of the rest and the restoration of this slow, gentle practice. And noticing as you do one last Upanasana, knees to chest, exhale in, inhale out. Notice your body. Rolling to the side to come up, using the hands, slowly coming up to sitting, bringing the hands to the heart center, and namaste.